Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can connect this form and actually receive emails when user submits a form on your website. In next video, we are going to take this same form and we will send all form submissions to Slack. And in video after that, we will use this same form and we will send form submissions to our HubSpot. But for now, let's keep it simple and let's just send emails. So first thing that we need to do is to create a form. And since I'm using a template here, I already have one form created here, so I will just explain what I have here, so we can uh, keep moving. So here I have my form, and on top bar, as you can see, you can find form here, and when you hover, you get all the form elements below. So we have labels, input, text area, selects, options, and submit button. So in my form, I have uh, two inputs, one for name, one for email, and I have one text area for my message. And here I have a submit button. That's all I need. So now I need to create this same form but in our backend. So let's do that. Let's go to the settings, go to the forms and let's create our form. Let's name it contact form. And now here in fields we need to add the same fields that we have in builders. So let's add three fields. We have name, we have email and we have a message. Let's put all to be required. We will do the same thing in our builder. So let's update. This is a success message. So let's put thank you. That's enough for now. And this is my email where I want to receive emails. And this is Slack channel. I will cover this in next video as I said. Okay, so we are all done here. Let's go back to the builder now. And now if I click on my form tag, you will see in here that I can connect it to my form. So let's connect and that's it. Make sure this method is post and now form is connected, but our fields are not. So fields that we created in backend needs to be matching with fields here. I mean name needs to be matching. So if I go back to show you here what I created, sorry, let me go back, open here. These names need to be matching inside our builder. Okay, so I click on my input and put name to be name for this one. This one is email. And we have a message here. So now our fields are connected as well. I forgot to put required to everything. So let's put required to all of our inputs. And now we are done. This should work now. So if I go to the form and if I submit it, it should say thank you. And if I go now to see my submissions here, you will see that I got the submission. And also I got it on my email. So let me show you that one. So as you can see here, zero minutes ago, that's the latest form we received. Okay, so that's working perfectly. One more thing that I can show you is custom success state. So if I go back to the builder, instead of showing that simple thank you text, we can create our own success state, like with image and stuff like that. So let's do that. First thing that we need to do is to create a div that is going to be success state. So let's name it success. And inside for now, I will just put one image and one paragraph. This paragraph can say thank you. I'm just showing you for example, and the image can be, and for image, I have this uh, little check, check mark. So let's, let's style it a bit. Let's put everything in middle. And maybe we'll be put background to be white and color to be dark. And the, this looks okay now. So only thing left to do now is to actually say to this div that is a success state. How do we do that? It's simple. We just add a class to this uh, success div and class is the age form success. And that's it. When I add that class, that div will disappear because that div is only visible when I actually submit a form. So if I go now and submit a form again, And as you can see, it works like a charm. 
You can create your own custom states. You can even create this to be a pop-up with fixed position, anything you like.